Okay, so we're gonna shoot tomorrow, and it's a whole day shoot, so I wanna be powering my Osmo off my Inspire One batteries. Now, I've got a clip so this will sit on my belt and hold in this clip. Make sure that the battery doesn't come out. Kill the uh, recording midway through. There's one issue, the adapter to the Osmo, it's this little plug that, if that comes out, I'm gonna lose all the shots, it's gonna corrupt the file, and the Osmo is just gonna die on me. And that's not what I want. So today, I'm designing a little cap to go over here to keep this in place. Put that aside. So we've got a bit of a drawer in here. And what I've done is I've just measured the outer diam uh, outer measurements of that plug and then the, uh, the male plug that goes into it and the size of the wire. And yeah, I'm gonna get stuck into drawing it in one, two, three D design and I'll print it on my Ultimaker over in the corner. So hopefully this goes alright. export it as an STL file. Okay. Don't move uh, one, two, three D design. Now we can open up Kura, the part in the middle there. And you can see all the red in there means it's a lot of overhangs. So we're gonna spin that around. 180 degrees so that the over, only overhang is that little lip but that should still print because it's uh, on a 45 degree angle. Do we want it to print quickly so I've got a reasonably high layer height of 0.2 mil. Uh, the wall thickness could probably get away with 1.2 so that's a multiple of the um, nozzle size so we've got a 0.6 mil nozzle on it so that's two layers. Uh, it's just a test part, 20% infill, it's going to be sufficient. Uh, we don't want any support material because that'll just be extra clean up in this inside. Uh, and a brim, I always use a brim. It'll do a few layers around the outside to make sure that the nozzles, like the material is flowing out of the nozzle and it gets good uh, build plate adhesion. Okay, so I'm going to save this to an SD card. Check that. Check the SD card. Get the printer turned on. Okay, so that print's finished. There we go. We've got the part here. It's got that brim, that 5mm brim that I was talking about. So you can usually just tear that off by hand. Okay. And we can clean that up with a file. Okay. 
So while this was printing, I realized I made a mistake. If you have a look at this, this plug, forget about this little bit here, but that should be all right. We can fix that. The thing that I love about 3D prints, just super easy to modify. You know, you, it's nice to design something that's going to print properly the first time and you know, it's repeatable. But then you still just working out the dimensions of everything. It's nice to just be able to hack away at it. See, that fits in nicely. It's mm. I think everything needs to be just slightly larger. Okay, so... Six iterations later, about three and a half hours. Um, and I come up with this. So I've ditched the, uh, you know, the single slot and the lip uh, idea because once we, once I actually got it to fit, it pulled it straight out. So that, I had to rethink everything. So they're all ready. So now what I've got, so this clips. It's very similar to the previous ones where the, the cable goes through the slot. But now, it's got a second piece that slides up and locks in place. So there we go. And that's going, that's not going anywhere. Cool. So hopefully that's good for tomorrow's shoot. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, if you'd like to buy one of these, as well, um, they're available on my website. And yeah, follow me on Instagram for more aerial photos. And also some 3D designs and prints and all that kind of stuff. So if you're interested, check it out.